Hey everyone, I just wanted to share some progress, some video progress on this kit from uh, round 2 AMT. It's a re release in the tin. Getting some of these monster gaps filled up with um, some epoxy, which I've got a, a, a bead here of it. It's uh, Milliput. Pretty good stuff. Uh, this kit is really good, but uh, it really has some bad gaps. And um, instead of trying to uh, fix it with uh, this stuff alone, I decided to go and use some uh, epoxy. And uh, I'm doing this on a bit of a break from my Enterprise B kit. I'm having some base problems with it at the moment. And I already finished with. Um, the main hull here. Uh, I've used a combination actually of uh, Tamiya and um, epoxy. The yellow stuff is the epoxy, and the grey stuff is obviously the Tamiya grey scale. Um, it's really good. You just thin it out with a bit of water, and um, you've got a really good gap. These were real bad, these ones. These sub assemblies pretty much ready for paint. Um, this is done. Uh, all the seams are all fixed up. I've just gone uh, back over with some sandpaper uh, just to fix everything up, and it should be all ready now. Nice and good there. Uh, that's that done, and I got some uh, epoxy just to. Um, Fill in the lines here of these gaps on the uh, the bulb, um, and there's a seam on the top, which is uh, kind of a step actually. So I, f I filled that up, and um, yeah, these holes on the side are uh, inaccurate, so I filled those up also with epoxy. Uh, I painted these parts of. Uh, I just painted them over, I was going to strip the chrome off with some bleach, but I just didn't get around to it. Um, the primer seems to be taken to the chrome okay, I just have to put another coat on and I'll be able to put my paint on. I haven't decided what to me a colour to use for these, but we'll find out soon. Uh, now this part is completely finished and ready for paint. I added this little detail here which was missing from the kit. This trick for the uh, for the larger seams is uh, seems to be working really well. It worked it worked quite well on this part here, um, and I always have epoxy left over. Always have some left over, but I thought I would. Whenever I use epoxy, I make sure that there's another there's something else I can use it for too. If I if I have. Um, you know, if I have any need for it, and I just, I have, I have this kit which has been sitting around for quite a while. That's the first Pilot Enterprise. I shaved the um, detail off the end caps to represent the 11 footer a little better. Um, and basically some repair work along there. So uh, next up on this is uh, paint. I've chosen my colours actually, I'll show you those. Uh, these two Tamiya colours that I'm going to use, this one, XF23 light blue for the overall main hull colour on the bottom. It's kind of a grey blue. be interesting to see what colour it looks like on the model, because it always looks slightly different. And for the top, I'll be using XF82 for the darker top hull colour. I'll probably mix this with 50-50 white um, because that is quite quite dark I mean it, it, I mean it looks okay in the bottle there but I think when it's on the model it'll look I basically want this colour to look closer to this one that's, that's what's coming up next um, I lied, I'm back with uh, some more gapping uh, I thought, you know, if I got asked this, you know, which is fine, I just thought I'd show it. This is epoxy, and uh, it looks nice, doesn't it? Um, I've actually seen people who <laughs> apply.
apply ordinary modeling putty just as thickly like this and then just leave it and then sand it later. Always makes me cringe because I hate sanding. But all I'm doing is I'm dipping this flat bit in a little tiny bit of water and um, I'm just going to go like this and smooth it out. And eventually you'll see, you'll start to see the seam. Uh, let's remove some of this crap. Um, eventually you'll see the seam. You really just want to thumb it down just so you get everything level and remove everything else. Okay, so you can pretty much see the seam all the way across, which is good. We want that. Just get rid of all that crap. This is actually kind of awkward filming this. The aim is to get everything as sort of flat as possible. And if you really wanted, you could go in and remove all this. you're not trying to make the seam perfect now the epoxy really is just to provide a better base for uh, the stuff because I mean this stuff is kind of expensive you don't want to use tons of it if you don't need to if you want to get a good base um, yeah do it like that and everything should be heaps easier um, I didn't need to use epoxy on the nacelles, they, uh, they're fine as is, but these were huge. Um, yeah. See you back for the airbrushing. Fun, fun. <laughs>